Good afternoon, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about another application of La Hospital's rule. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Determine the indeterminate, if any, form that is obtained by direct substitution. That is, uh, and uh, that is part A, actually. And then part B, evaluate the limit using La Hospital's rule if necessary. So let's do part A first. Okay. So where in, uh, we'll try to see if it will reduce to an indeterminate form by direct substitution. So solution. Part A, indirect substitution. Substitution. Limit x tends to infinity x times sine over 1 over x. And as x tends to infinity, x will also tend to infinity. And sine 1 over infinity, sine of 0, tends to 0. So that whole thing becomes 0 as x tends to infinity. It is not indeterminate, by the way. Okay? Then we will apply La Hospital's rule to find the limit. Okay, part B. Evaluate the limit. So let me write it out here. So let me use this. Evaluate the limit using La Hospital's rule. rule. Okay, so limit. x tends to infinity, x over sine of 1 over x, which is equal to limit x tends to infinity, sine 1 over x, and I will move the x from the numerator to the denominator as 1 over x, okay? Now, now I will use the derivative, okay? So this limit is equal to the derivative of the numerator and the denominator, okay? So this is where La Hospital's rule is coming out, okay? So I'm trying to find the derivative of the numerator and the denominator. So, <laughs> that will be equal to minus 1 over x square times cosine of 1 over x for the numerator derivative divided by the denominator derivative is minus 1 over x square. Okay? Now, so the minus 1 over x squared terms and minus 1 over x squared term in the numerator will cancel. So I'm left with limit x tends to infinity cosine of 1 over x. Okay. And as x tends to infinity, that becomes cosine of 0, which is 1. So the final answer is 1. Okay. So this is the limit of this given function as x tends to infinity. x sine over 1 over x. So to summarize, what did I do? I'm going to apply La Hospital's rule, but then I first move the 1 over x in the denominator. The x in the numerator becomes 1 over x in the denominator. And then I apply the La Hospital's rule, which states uh, this must be equal to the limit 
x approaching infinity, the derivative of the numerator divided by derivative of the denominator. The numerator de derivative is minus 1 over x square cosine 1 over x. And the new, uh, that's a numerator derivative. And the denominator derivative is minus 1 over x square. Now, minus 1 over x square from the numerator and denominator cancels. I'm left with cosine 1 over x. Limit x tends to infinity. Cosine 1 over x as x tends to infinity becomes cosine of 0, which is 1. So the final answer is 1. I'll stop here today. If you have any question, comment, you can always write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, please share with your friends, you and your friends. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. If you want to get in touch with me, my email is sn underscore 88 at hotmail.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. See you next time. Don't forget to watch me next time and I'll be back with another interesting problem, interesting solution.